Uh, hello, my name is Islam, and today I'm going to present my paper Age Minimization in Massive IoT via UAV Swarm, a Multi-Agent Reinforcement Learning Approach. This paper was accepted in PIMRC Conference 2023. So, the road of future wireless networks has massive deployment of IoT sensors, and yet the age of information is one of the most important metric that measure the freshness of the information in IoT networks. And the deployment of UEVs as mobile relay units or base station or flying base stations is considered in as appealing solutions for collecting real-time data for low energy sensors. Usually, the massive deployment of devices is accompanied by nonlinear nonlinear parameters, and usually the reinforcement learning approaches, such as multi-agent reinforcement learning, usually have less complexity, building on decentralized solutions. We have here this scenario where we have multiple UAVs trying to solve multiple limited power IoT sensors in a IoT network and here we have one base station in the middle of the world and we have a blocked area where the UEV are restricted in entering this area. The UEV or the base station, the central unit, performs a clustering where it clusters or groups the uh, devices according to their locations where each UEV can uh, serve one cluster and can serve all of the sensors in this cluster at a time. Here we uh, propose two models. The first model is the half duplex, and the second model is the full duplex. So in the in the half duplex, the transmission and the relaying stages uh, occur after each other. So first a transmission occur then a relaying of the information from the UEV to the base station occurs while in the full duplex the UEV can receive the information and can relay this information to the base station at the same time and here this is the update equation of the age of information here we formulate this problem as mark of, mark of decision process where we have the agents are the multiple UEVs, the state are the position of the UEVs and the age of information of the sensors. The action space is the movement direction and the chosen cluster. And finally, the reward function is formulated as the weighted sum of the age of information and also the weighted sum of the transmission power of the sensors. Here we solve this problem using Q function or deep Q networks due to the high dimension complexity of this problem. We compare different multi-agent reinforcement learning techniques. First, the centralized uh, reinforcement learning, where the training is done cent centrally at the base station. Then the cooperative model, so each UEV uh, does its own uh, training, but it shares the information uh, with the nearby uh, UEVs. Then the partially cooperative model, where each UEV performs its own training and shares part of the information to the nearby UEVs. And finally, the decentralized model where all of the UEVs uh, do their own training individually without sharing any of information to the other agents. The simulation results show that uh, the proposed te techniques, all of them outperform the random walk uh, scheme in terms of the uh, average age of information in both models, the half duplex and the full duplex, where the cooperative model with sh sharing of information outperforms the decentralized model and the partially cooperative model. Here in this scenario, we have 300 IoT sensors, and we uh, use the full duplex with 31.25 megabytes uh, rate. And you can see here, as we increase the number of the UEVs, the average age of information decreases with always the cooperative uh, scheme outperforms the others. Here we compare the complexity 
the, the, the computation complexity, the time complexity, and the signaling overhead. As we can see, the centralized model has low signaling, but it is very complex in terms of time complexity and the number of computations at the neural network. Uh, while cooperative model has a little bit more signaling overhead, but less or lower time complexity. And finally, the decentralized model has the least signaling overhead compared to, uh, to the other model schemes and also lower time complexity and lower uh, number of computations but it has worse performance as we saw previously compared to the other model schemes. Uh, so thank you. You can cite this paper from this link and if you have any question, please contact me using my email. Thank you.